So how do we play Stronghold Crusader online? First of all, just a little warning. This game is 20 years old, and the HD version did nothing to make it better. So the online experience is gonna be the same as 20 years ago, which means there's gonna be a lot of old game issues when you play it online. But let's ignore that for now, here's how we do it. First of all, there's a written guide made by the Firefly Studios, so if you wanna read it yourself check out the first link in the description. I'm gonna talk about the game ranger method, so if you wanna use the other method shown here feel free to do it on your own. So here's step 1, download Game Ranger. Once again there's another link to the Game Ranger website, either use that or just Google Game Ranger. The installation should be easy enough, just sign up and verify your account through your email. Now you should give it your game location. Simply press Ctrl and E or go to Edit and then select Options. From this list you need to find Stronghold Crusader, and click on Browse. Then you need to give it your Stronghold Crusader installation folder, and click on Stronghold Crusader X file. Congrats, you're ready to play online. There are a few things you need to check though. Step 2, check your game version. Before that though, if you're playing with UCP then make sure to uninstall it first. Unless you and your friend are both using UCP with the exact same settings. Otherwise I'm pretty sure you can't play online if you have UCP on a non-UCP lobby. Once you're done with that, launch your game and check the number right next to the exit button. Steam versions are usually on 1.41, but some people also like to play on 1.3. You need to make sure everyone on your lobby has the same version, otherwise you can't play. So if you pay close attention to the lobbies, you can see the version they're playing to, make sure to join the right lobby. And if you wanna host you should include your version in the description. Step 3, Joining a Lobby. So whether you found a good lobby or made your own, you press continue here, and wait for the players to join. Once there are enough players the host can start the game, which opens up everyone's game and gets inside the stronghold's lobby. Unfortunately for us this guy couldn't connect, maybe because he had the wrong version. But anyway there's one thing I need to show you, if you press this little icon a new menu appears. This is where you control the game speed and some other options, try to play the game on low speed, because the netcode isn't good enough to handle high speed, you can try it with your friends and see what works and what doesn't. But usually people play on 50 speed or less. And once everyone's ready they should press this shield thing and the host can start the match. So now you basically know how to play online, but still there are a few things that could go wrong. Step 3, Nat and Italic Issues. Basically if you join a lobby, and you see some names are in Italic, it means you can't connect to their game, so if you see the host's name is in Italic, you probably can't play in that lobby, and something like this might happen. To prevent this situation, there's one way that has been working really well for me so far. And that's using a VPN called Windscribe. It does have a monthly trial too which is more than enough for Stronghold Crusader. So once you connect to this thing you should almost never see italic names again, unless it's the person's fault. And that's about it for Stronghold Crusader Online. In conclusion, get Game Ranger, use the same version as the others, and download Winscribe for a better experience. And you should be able to play it smoothly. I hope this was useful, and thanks for watching.